In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Well, we welcome you to a new look. We're having Mass outside today at Mary Mother of God Parish. Those of you who don't live in northeastern Pennsylvania uh, have not seen this look here from us, but it's a beautiful day, and it's going to be hot all week. It's nice to get outside, and that helps with the, the virus not being in an enclosed environment where it thrives. So by going outside, we kind of help to take care of one of those problems. So as long as the weather stays good, we might be out here the rest of the week. Hopefully you'll like it. Let us all call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that we may always revere your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. Sennacherib, king of Assyria, sent envoys to Hezekiah with this message. Thus shall you say to Hezekiah, king of Judah, Do not let your God, on whom you rely, deceive you by saying that Jerusalem will not be handed over to the king of Assyria. You have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all other countries. They doomed them. Will you then be saved? Hezekiah took the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. Then he went up to the temple of the Lord, and spreading it out before him, he prayed in the Lord's presence. O Lord, God of Israel, enthroned upon the cherubim, you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made the heavens and the earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and listen. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sennacherib, which he sent to taunt the living God. Truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste the nations and their lands and cast their gods into the fire. They destroyed them because they were not gods, but the work of human hands, wood, and stone. Therefore, O Lord, our God, save us from the power of this man, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you alone, O Lord, are God. Then Isaiah, son of Amaz, sent this message to Hezekiah. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, in answer to your prayer for help against Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, I have listened. This is the word the Lord has spoken concerning him. She despises you, laughs you to scorn, the virgin daughter Zion. Behind you she wags her head, daughter of Jerusalem. For out of Jerusalem shall come a remnant, and from Mount Zion survivors. The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. Therefore, says the Lord concerning the king of Syria, he shall not reach this city, nor shoot an arrow at it, nor come before it with a shield, nor cast up siege works against it. He shall return by the same way he came, without entering the city, says the Lord. I will shield and save this city for my sake, and for the sake of my servant, David. That night the angel of the Lord went forth and struck down 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. So Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, broke camp and went back home to Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm this morning, God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God, God upholds, upholds the city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles, renowned as he is stronghold. God, God upholds, upholds the city forever. O oh God, we ponder your mercy without your temple. As your name, O oh God, so also your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Of justice, your right hand is full. God, God upholds, upholds the city forever. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs, or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot, and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law of the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life, and those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Well, whether you're watching from far away or nearby, you probably felt sorry for Nina having to do that reading today on ancient historical accounts of battles and different things. She is well paid for doing that job, let me make that clear. In some cases, the only existing record of history of those battles hundreds of years before Christ come from the Bible. Interesting. If you listen carefully, it said, I will leave you a remnant. That's a very important word that we can identify with. We are a remnant. Those of us who live in the city of Scranton, and other than Gerard, everybody here is at least over the age of, well, I don't want to get too specific, but when I was a kid, the city of Scranton had 150,000 people in it. It was a bustling town because of the coal mines. We have left a remnant, and most of us remnant are 60 and older. That's just the way. We'll never have the same life in the city of Scranton that we once had. You go to the parade for St. Patrick's Day, a lot of those kids who moved away for better jobs, they come home and they say, wow, look at all these people. It used to be like that. Hmm. Is it going to be like that when it comes to church? What's going to be left will be a remnant. I might not have seen a 30-year-old on church on Sunday. I'm quite sure I didn't see many 20-year-olds in church. Younger people do not easily accept religion. And it's not just Catholicism. It's any religion. And those of us old enough to remember, there was a day we had, you know, six or seven masses just at this one church. And they were packed. Well, that's part of that's demographic. But part of it is the fact that young people today just don't easily find themselves given to religion. And they disagree with our teaching on many topics. We will be introducing a special program in the fall, whether you're nearby or watching from far away at, at home, where a special outreach to special groups of people, the divorced and remarried, the girl who had an abortion, all of whom don't feel welcome in church or feel worthy to be in church. We have a lot of work to do trying to grab them. But let, let me say this. Did, did we really have the numbers we thought we had? Did we have disciples or did we just have members? People who, you know, maybe they were baptized, um, pro probably got their basic sacraments, but were they ever really committed to the faith? Or did they just kind of, were they on a book in there in my office, they got baptized, you know. That's not enough to be baptized. We have lots of lukewarm Christians out there. They're baptized. But are they really close disciples? I need disciples. I need people from their faith is the guiding principle in their life. It's not like, well, I'll do Father a favor by helping. No, I, I have a call to my baptism to serve God, to go out and make disciples, to get other people to follow me back to church. Or do we just you know, show up and I get envelopes and, you know, uh, whatever. I'm kind of a man. We don't need members. We need disciples. Jesus said, go make disciples. That's the command given to all of us. Go get people to follow you back here tomorrow. I'm afraid we may be dealing with just a remnant. A remnant of what we used to be. But if we, if we are a smaller church in the future, but with stronger members, then eventually our faith will bring others to follow us to Jesus Christ and his sacramental life. That challenge is up to us to go make disciples, not just be members. Jesus wants disciples, not just members. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to Almighty God. For all, who lead to, for all who lead the church, working to evangelize all who seek the truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For those called to government service, striving to lead in ways of peace and justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who long for honorable employment and strive for a living wage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For family members who serve as caregivers for the young, the elderly, and the infirm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the containment and eventual eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the faithful departed, and especially for Pauline Field, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, our Father, hear our prayers. Empower us with the power of the Spirit to go out and make disciples, bringing people to know you, to follow you, to know your life. We make all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. water and wine enables us to share in the degree of Christ to humble himself to share in our humanity. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with praise and glory his name. For our good and for the Church. Receive, O oh Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise. Grant that, cleansed by its action, we may be made an offering pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Just as through your beloved Son you create the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it's right that all your creatures serve you, the redeemed praise you, your saints with one heart bless you. We join with them, praising you as we say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. We are sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, supper and he took a chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death, his resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, they have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis our Pope Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember all our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom and the power, and the glory, and the glory are yours, 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 now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We share a sign of Christ's peace. 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 Lamb of God. Take, take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter by my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the Eucharist, we ask your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless us, our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. You may now come forward to receive the body of Christ. Thanks be to God. I ask everyone to go 